New tonight, a family in Roan County is picking up the pieces of their life. The Purvis family's home was destroyed late last month by a fire. Reporter Aaron Velasquez joins us now to share their story. Shay Richard Purvis is a fifth generation military veteran in his dream retirement home on the shores of Watts Bar Lake. He had collections of cherished heirlooms and memories spanning back centuries, most of which were destroyed when a fire overtook the home. Let's see if I can open it. After a fire destroyed his home, Richard Purvis asked firefighters to search for one thing. I found my Bible in four foot ash. I read every morning and night. Purvis moved to the lakefront home in 2020. It was just remarkable what he had transformed this home into, and it was his forever home. His daughter Grace was putting her three babies to bed when she smelled the smoke. My gut instinct was saying, open up that door and see what's on the other side. And when I did, the whole other half of the home was on fire. Her motherly intuition kicked in as she grabbed her three small children and searched for a way out. There I picked them up, ran out the door with my phone calling 911, screaming, get out, get out, get out. Um, my dogs were in there and I thought my dad was inside. Luckily, Richard was not in the home. He was down by the shore watching his dream house go up in flames. And when I was standing there about to go in the house, my dad pulled around on the tractor and it was like seeing an angel. Losing the house meant more than just losing a building. Every evaluation, every award. The family heirlooms and things that were passed down that, that burnt, those things can't be replaced. The family still searches through the ashes to find ways to keep their history alive. You're so happy. You know, my daughter got out and the dogs and the babies, but then a couple of days, now you're in true reality. How am I gonna rebuild? How's this process? The Purvis family says they are thankful for the support from the community, especially from the firefighters who risked their lives battling the fire. Back to you, Shay. All right. Thanks so much, Aaron.